Welcome, 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 welcome to the episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Uh, we're going to have a fun show today. So, um, we're going to get into whether or not Anthony Josh is overrated. Teddy Atlas had the hot take. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow, please follow, well, please follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, as well as our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery, so please follow Texas Boxing Scene. All right, let's get into this a little bit. Um, you know, um, I, I don't think this is real shatter, earth shattering, right? Like, I think a lot of people <coughs> sorry, kind of think Anthony Joshua is either underrated or overrated. Um, and, and I think it all depends on where you rate him. Well, it really, really wasn't surprised that uh, Atlas came out and said what he said. Not, not that I was expecting him to say it. It's just, you know, I, I don't think he's wrong. It just I think it depends on where you rate him. All right. I, I want to start off with this. I, I, I like Anthony Joshua. I think Anthony Joshua is a good heavyweight champion. I think he was, he was a good heavyweight champion. I think he's a good ambassador for the sport. I think he's a fighting champion. I think outside of Wilder, he fought everyone. We'd want him to. He's still trying to fight Fury to this day, and I think that will happen. He's willing to take short money to fight uh, Fury. So uh, there's no disrespect or, or, or even dislike or, or anything like that for Anthony Joshua. He's a good champion. He fought everyone. Now, if you try to rate him amongst the all-time great heavyweights, he's not that. He's a pretty good boxer. He's got some decent skills. He's not very mobile. He's not hyper, you know, quick or athletic in the ring. Um, he's got obviously he's got good power. He can he, he's, he's you know he's got excellent uppercut. He's a good heavyweight champion. I can name lots and lots and lots of heavyweight champions far 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 worse than Anthony Joshua. Um, if you want to start ranking him in the top twenty heavyweights of all time, well then. I, I think he's completely overrated. Um, you know, let's just kind of run through it, right? Like, I, I, he's got a, a pretty good resume. Um, you know, Charles Martin, Dillian White, twice. Uh, Dillian White, Charles Martin, Dominic Brazil. You know, um, Vladimir Klitschko is the big one. He's got one over Takam. He's got the one over Parker. He's got a win over Povetkin. Those are all good wins. Those are all good wins. Um, they're not all time great ones. He, he, he and then he got a win over Rees. He got a loss to Rees. He got two losses to Usyk. So you you, you go through his resume and it's it's pretty good. Like it, it, he's got you know Kevin Johnson early in his career. Um, you know he, he was moved along quickly after the gold medal, which again I don't think he deserved the gold medal. I think he was given a benefit of a doubt in his home country. But he got a win over White. That's one. You got. Charles Martin's a good win. I don't know what to make of that, right? You guys are going to hate it. A lot of you are going to hate it. It's a good win. It's a destruction of Charles Martin, um, who's a solid heavyweight. Not one of the premier heavyweight champions, but Charles Martin did get a belt. I, I, I know Charles Martin got it on an injury, <laughs> fighting a guy on one leg or whatever it was. Um, it went over Brazil. That doesn't do much for me. Molina does absolutely nothing for me. He's got the win over Klitschko. Again, Klitschko is 40 years old, but it's still a win. Takam's a decent fighter. Um, then he's got the win over Parker. It's a good win. And the win over Povetkin, good win. You know, there are a lot of heavyweight champions who are decent heavyweight champions who don't have that many title defenses, don't have any good title defenses. You know, Parker, Povetkin, Klitschko are good wins. And then he's got the loss to Ruiz, and then he's got a win over Ruiz. So that's about four good wins. And and Dillian White right there. Pulev is okay, and it doesn't really. But um, and then he's got two losses to Usyk. 
Look, I, I've said this before. Usyk's not going to have the time left in his career to really build a resume as one of the great heavyweight champs. It's just he doesn't – he's 35 times on the side. You know, he moved up. Things happened. There was a pandemic. There were layoffs. Usyk's not going to collect enough wins to really build that resume. That being said – do I think there are 10 heavyweights in the history of boxing who could beat Alexander Usyk? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't know if there's more than like two or three, honestly. Um, th- that being said, he's, he's not going to have the resume. You talk about resume, he just doesn't have the time to build the resume. He could go down as the best cruiserweight of all time, but he's not going to go down on the list of great heavyweights. Losing and being outboxed, by Usyk, I don't think is the end of the world. He's got knocked out by Ruiz, but he came back and beat Ruiz. So, you know, there are worse champs than that. So it, it all depends. Is he overrated? Depends where you rate him. If you just rate him as a good heavyweight champion, Michael Moore, that's fine. If you're going to say he's an all-time great heavyweight, if you're going to say he's the best heavyweight of his era, um, if you're going to put him up with Klitschko, Lennox Lewis, things like that, you've completely overrated him. You've entirely overrated him. I don't think he beats Wilder. I think if he fought Ruiz again, he might lose. I, 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 I think he beats Ortiz at this point. I don't know that he beats Ortiz five years ago. I don't know if he beats Juiced Up Ortiz, but he doesn't have to beat Juiced Up Ortiz. That's, that, that's cheating. Uh, but he's got, you know, he's got a good career. He's got good wins. You know, the, the Klitschko win, you know, Klitschko was 40-something years old and had just gotten dominated by uh, Fury. You can make what you want of that win. To calm, stopped him on a controversial stoppage. Beat Parker, not the most entertaining fight, but beat Parker. Uh, beat up Povetkin, dominated Povetkin. Dropped him twice in the seventh round. Lost to Ruiz, and then beat Ruiz. Then lost to Usyk. Oh, he got one of a pool of in the interim, um, and, and then lost to Usyk twice. Again, I, I, I think he gets in the Hall of Fame, given his entire body of work, pro, amateur, and then you compound, you you, you combine how big of a star he was. Yeah, I think Anthony Joshua gets into the Hall of Fame. I don't know really, he deserves it on his on his resume, honestly. But I do think he gets into the Hall of Fame. Uh, so I don't, you know, again, it, it's just going to depend on where you personally rank Anthony Joshua. I'm, I don't have any room for him in the top 20 heavyweights of all time. Um, Riddick Bowe is a better heavyweight than him. Right, there's lots of better have, but again, Riddick Bowe didn't have as many title defenses as Anthony Joshua. Um, you know, both Klitschko's obviously go ahead of him. You know, just kind of the recent names, Fury. I put Wilder ahead of him. So if you put him ahead of those guys, yeah, I think you're overrating. But if you just say, you know what, he's a pretty good heavyweight. He was he was a solid heavyweight champion. He won a paper champion. He was a fighting champion. A good champion. I think that's right. So I I don't think Teddy Atlas is wrong, but if you think Teddy Atlas is is crazy or saying he's overrated and you don't think he's overrated at all, I, you know, depending, you might not be wrong either, right? It, it's just Eddie, um, he didn't really Teddy Atlas didn't really say where he ranked them, right? From what I I didn't watch the whole thing, but he didn't say I, I put him ahead of Pinklin Thomas or something like that, right? He just kind of said he's overrated. Is he better than Frank Bruno? He's better than Frank Bruno, huh? I mean, these solid heavyweight champions. You know, not, not 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 great guys, but he's ahead of those guys. So, you know, Joshua is what he is. He's a good champion. He's not a great. He's not great. You know, um, and I don't think not great belong in the Hall of Fame. But I I think the impact he had is felt, and I think he will get in. Um, you know, Gaddy got into the Hall of Fame. My, my youngest son is named at the guy. So I'm not hating on Gaddy, but Gaddy didn't have a Hall of Fame career. I know he got in because of the impact that he had. I mean, I think Joshua gets in for the same reason. So I think Joshua's going to be a Hall of Famer. And that being said, you know, he probably doesn't deserve it. So uh, based on his career. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please follow uh, 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Uh, also, please subscribe to our other channel on Texas uh, on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 13th, 2022. 
from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.